We're back at Twelve Wings Banquet Room. Uh, I think I mentioned in at least one of the previous videos that the fans in this room were temporary. I pulled them out of the old community center and needed a place to put them, and so they came here. But uh, I wanted to do something a little bit nicer for this room. So I'm just going to take you along uh, what I've done so far. I'll make more videos as the work progresses. So <clears throat> right here in the center, we have a uh, Casablanca Broadway Limited. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of a hodgepodge of parts. Um, I didn't have a complete Broadway that I wanted to use for this purpose, so this has been made up of different Casablanca parts. It's got stencil blades. They are Casablanca stencil, but they're not Broadway blades. Broadway was never offered with stencil, to my knowledge. Um, so on and so forth. Does not have a switch housing. I didn't want to do the big switch housing that Casablanca put on the Broadway because uh, the original Dayton fan that it was modeled after did not have a big switch housing like that. So in this case, I just mounted the light directly with a little bit of spiral tube. Um, it was suggested by another collector that I uh, put a small ornate switch housing on it, as uh, Dayton sometimes did with the light kit. So I may do that in the future. I may leave it like it is. If you have an opinion, feel free to weigh in. So there's the Broadway. And then on either side, we have a set of these Key Largos. I was thinking today as I was putting these in, I've always assumed they were Key Largo, and other collectors have always assumed they were Key Largo. I don't know if we've ever actually found proof that they were Key Largo as they're not labeled. So, this one has arch end blades. And then over here on the other side. This one has pointed tip blades. These are the blades that they came with. Um, I have a handful of these Key Largos. These are the two oldest ones that I have. I didn't notice until I was installing them. The older ones have a little bit more gap in the motor housing plates. The newer ones are more filled in. I was going to put up the two that I had that had matching blades, and I saw that the motor housings were different. So instead I opted to go for the same motor housings and different blades. These are one of my favorite uh, ornate fans. I like them actually. I like them better than the Victorian, even though they're very similar to the Victorian. Just the right amount of ornate without being too much. So, I have debated doing some changes to these two. I might get if I can get enough sets of stencil blades. I might make these all stencil. Obviously, I'd have to drill the blades, but that wouldn't be that big of a deal. So. There you have it. Uh, right now they're just all on the same speed controls that they were on, that the previous fans were on. And uh, I'm going to switch those out when I finish with all the fans in this room. But for now, these work okay. I'll turn the lights down on them too so you can get a better look at the fans. We went from speed 4, which is the lowest, to speed 3. As always, it's two fans to control. When I get done, that might be different. Might have some fans on their own controls. I've got it wired so each fan can have its own control, but the uh, spinners made the most sense to have two to control, so that's why I did it that way. This one here, the pointed tip Key Largo, and the Broadway are on one control. And then the uh, arch end Key Largo and the Evergo on the back that has not been changed yet um, are on one control and then the two unions in the front. Oh, those aren't unions, they're 
Miami Carry, I think is what they were labeled. It doesn't matter, it's all the same. So. Anyhow. I was tempted to just change these three fans and leave the remaining ones, but fairly certain I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to start by changing the uh, Ever Go in the Back, because even though I really like that fan, um, it doesn't go with anything else. It's cane. The lights point outward rather than straight down. The ones in this, over the stage can be different because it's a different section, but... I'm going to change that one in the back. And may change the ones over the stage too. We're just doing this piece by piece. One of the reasons I'm going to change the controls is because I don't feel like this medium speed is fast enough. You get a good breeze, but I can't say that it really does everything I need it to do. It'd be a good medium low speed, like if it was number three, this would be perfect. Those wall sconces are awfully bright. I think I'm going to turn those down too. They're glaring quite a bit in the video. So let's go to high. These are all some very good air movers. Now, all three of these fans, I replaced the bearings and varnished the windings, so they should run like a brand new motor. We'll see how the spin down time does. I was noticing when I was working on them that for some reason this one here seems to be going a little slower, and uh seems to spin down much quicker. We'll, we'll check that out and we'll see if that's still true, but uh, there's no reason for that to be the case. The bearings are brand new, literally just bought new bearings, um, and uh, check the capacitors. I was going to replace them if they weren't perfect, but they all measured exactly what they were supposed to. So I can't think of a reason why it'd be different other than maybe those blades are heavier. So, just because I feel like that one is going to spin down first, we're going to go over there. And we'll see if that's true. If it is, I don't know if there's anything I'll need to do about it. If there's nothing wrong with the fan, there's nothing wrong with the fan. Yep, it's definitely spinning down first. This is really odd because when I tested them on the bench, the motors had exactly the same spin down time. That was without blades, though, so either it's the blades or something's rubbing on something that I didn't notice. You'd think you would hear that, though. I don't know which of these is going to go first, so we'll go over here. Just goes to show you just never know. You can't predict something like that. And part of the modifications on this Broadway, I put it up with Hang True. I'm not a fan of Hang True, but it definitely does more clearance than the uh, Bell Canopy. And since this is right over the dance floor, I wanted to have a little extra clearance. So, I figured it being as cool a fan as a Broadway could justify having a sucky canopy. Of course, a lot of people will disagree with me. They'll like the hang true, and that's fine. Yeah, spin down time on this one is incredible, but there's no earthly reason they should be different unless it's something about the blades or... 
If anything, these Archon Blades I think would have more drag. They're a little bit longer. I checked both to make sure the flywheel wasn't rubbing, so I don't know what it would be, but as long as the fan, neither one stalls on low, then can't hurt anything. Well, there you have it, and uh, as I do some more work, I'll do some more videos.